Introduction What is that one activity that all living organisms indulge in unconsciously and is necessary for their survival? Yes, respiration. All living organisms, whether they are plants, animals or human beings, respire. While human beings respire through their lungs, plants do so through tiny holes in their leaves. Different animals have different organs that facilitate respiration. Fish breathe through their gills, frogs and earthworms through their skin, insects through their spiracles. In this lesson, we will study in detail the mechanism of respiration in human beings. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to differentiate between Arabic and anaerobic respiration, define pulmonary respiration, define circular respiration, describe the mechanism of breathing in humans. Let us look at what is breathing. When a human being breathes, he exchanges the unwanted carbon dioxide with oxygen which is essential for survival. Breathing involves two steps, inhalation and exhalation. Inhalation refers to the taking in of oxygen from the air into the body. Exhalation refers to the expulsion of carbon dioxide from the body into the atmosphere. During inhalation, the chest rises as the lungs are filled with oxygen, whereas during exhalation, the chest falls as the carbon dioxide is emptied from the lungs. Such visible breathing is known as external or pulmonary respiration. We will now look at internal or cellular respiration. In this process, cells present inside human body exchange unwanted carbon dioxide with the essential oxygen through cell walls. Our body needs energy to perform various activities. The energy is produced when the food we eat is broken down into glucose. Breakdown of food requires oxygen obtained through inhalation. Thus, cellular respiration is the process by which cells make use of the energy obtained from food. Respiration is of two types, Arabic and anaerobic. Arabic respiration is the respiration that takes place in the presence of oxygen. In this kind of respiration, food is broken down into glucose in the presence of oxygen. An Arabic respiration is that respiration which takes place in the absence of oxygen. This kind of respiration is found in some microorganisms such as bacteria that inhabit places where oxygen is missing. The energy produced in Arabic respiration is more than the energy produced in an Arabic respiration. Shruti wants to hold her breath, but she can hold only about 30 seconds. After that, she has to breathe. This is because the body needs oxygen to breathe all the time. Taking in of air rich in oxygen into the body is called inhalation and the giving out of air rich in carbon dioxide is called exhalation. Shruti now counts her number of breaths in one minute. She noted that she breathes in and out 15 to 18 times per minute. However, during exercising, it can go up to 30 breaths per minute. Let us now understand how breathing occurs in human beings. First, we inhale air through our nostrils. This inhaled air passes into the nasal cavity. Here, the air is filtered and heated. From the nasal cavity, the inhaled air passes down the throat and enters the windpipe known as trachea. From the trachea, it reaches both our lungs, which are present in the chest cavity. This cavity is surrounded by ribs on both sides. These ribs form a cage-like structure called the rib cage. A large muscular sheet called the diaphragm forms the floor of the chest cavity. The rib cage and the diaphragm show movements during inhalation and exhalation. Once the inhaled air reaches the lungs, 
it enters tiny air sacs known as alveoli inside the lungs. Here in the alveoli, gas exchange takes place, that is, oxygen is exchanged for carbon dioxide. The oxygen in the alveoli travels into the bloodstream and is used up in cellular respiration. The carbon dioxide in the blood moves into the alveoli and is expelled out of the human body through exhalation. When we breathe in or inhale, ribs move up outwards and our diaphragm contracts and moves downward. This increases the space in our chest cavity into which our lungs expand. As our lungs expand, air is sucked in through our nose or mouth. The air travels down trachea into our lungs. When we breathe out or exhale, our ribs move down inwards and our diaphragm relaxes and moves upward into the chest cavity. As the space in the chest cavity gets smaller, air rich in carbon dioxide is forced out of our lungs and windpipe and then out of our nose or mouth. It is time to check your understanding. Drag and drop the correct options in the respective boxes. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Inhalation refers to the taking in of oxygen from the air into the body. Exhalation refers to the expulsion of carbon dioxide from the body into the atmosphere. Cellular respiration takes place when cells exchange carbon dioxide with oxygen through cell walls. Arabic respiration takes place in the presence of oxygen. An Arabic respiration takes place in the absence of oxygen. The windpipe is known as the trachea. A large muscular sheet called diaphragm forms the floor of the chest cavity. Alveoli are tiny air sacs inside human lungs. Oxygen is exchanged for carbon dioxide in the alveoli.